and you're watching The Never Show, where we hate that COPPA thing, but we got to do what we got to do to survive because you need a movie review. Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one fuzzy boy. Never. I'm back, eternally scarred in the worldwide ick with the world gone crazy, so you need an escape. My show is here for you. Yes, it is the only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget, and the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. <laughs> oh, this joke never gets any better, but if you did laugh, then thank you. Hopefully it is Wednesday when you're seeing this. We got a new PC. We've gone through a living hell of trying to get it ready to do this thing. On top of that, my schedule has been a mess. <laughs> Thank you for clicking that subscribe button. Thank you for coming and finding me. Now, you didn't come here to listen to me talk about myself. It's movie review time. Let's get into it, shall we? And today's movie is Clifford the Big Red Dog. It is a PG movie. It is an hour and 36 minutes. It came out the 10th of November, which we're within a week. So we're not that late. Uh, it's from director Walter Becker. Yes, the guy who did Van Wilder and Wild Hogs in that chipmunk movie that I won't even touch. From writers Jay Schleck, Ron, David Ron, Blazy Hemingway, Justin Mellon, Alan Rappaport, and based on the works of Norman Birdwell, who wrote the original Clifford the Big Red Dog books, from we all remember from when we were little. Stars Derby Camp, Jack Whitehall, and Isaac Wang. Those are the main characters you need to know in this film, other than Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> um, but we also had some really good things in here. Uh, John Cleese was in this, and he was a wonderful, wonderful, he sold this. He sold himself into this film, and I thank him for doing that because it was wonderful. Uh, David Allen Greer was in this along with Paul Rodriguez and Russell Peters, too, and quite a few other names. I want to go deeper down the rabbit hole, but you didn't come here to listen to me read names all day. Our production companies were Paramount Pictures Entertainment One. Kenner Entertainment Company, Scholastic Entertainment, New Republic Pictures, Walden Media, our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love was Paramount Pictures. Special effects were done by Captive Dimensions, Moving Picture Company, MPC, and for a movie with this much special effects, you'd think there'd be more, but there wasn't. Let's move on, shall we? It's movie review time. My thoughts on this film. One, I see what people are saying. I see the review scores. And I'm going to say this is a solid, solid C movie. I'm really serious. You know, um, it's 48% on the on the Rotten Tomato meter, and it's they're splatting it. And it's a 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb. And... I'm saying this isn't a bad film. I think you shouldn't listen to the critics. You should probably listen to me. I'm going to try to give it to you more straight than they. They're there to make money and be aggressive. I'm here to tell you it's a decent film. If you're feeling nostalgic for the good old days of PBS and Clifford the Big Red Dog or the Clifford the Big Red Dog books, this is wonderful. Although no Birdwell Island this time. And, you know, Clifford's in New York. <laughs> uh but good, good backdrop. I'm not going to complain about that. Story is a little light for everyone. But you got to remember, this is a PG movie. It's set for little kids. A little bit of slapstick. No heavy fight play. You know, food fight kind of nonsense stuff. I do want to see what CinemaSins thinks about this. Just because 
um, I feel like you're not going to enjoy this if you're an adult. It's a very, very simplistic plot. And it's very to the template of family comedy. And um, if you've seen the Paddington Bear movies, you've seen that kind of template, if you know what I mean. It is a decent film. I'm definitely going to say it's a TV watch. I don't see myself as a big DVD buy on this one just because it is fairly young movies young, set for a fairly young audience. I definitely see this as a theater watch, but I definitely would love to have seen this with like little kids. I sat in a fairly empty theater to see this. So yeah, and I don't have any little kids. So eh. I think it's probably going to be a pass just on that alone. With that said, if you like what you see in here, make sure you hit that like button. Likes and views are how YouTube works now. It's not the way I like it. It's just the way it is. And you know, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. I don't need to tell you a spiel. Comments are the highlight of my day. And when they're not there, it makes me sad. Please hit me up. Tell me what you thought about this movie. If you hated it or if it was a good trip down nostalgia lane for you. You know I have to ask. I have an Amazon. I have a Patreon. It is not without your support that keeps my YouTube and Twitch channels afloat. You guys basically pay for everything. I don't know how I do it without you. Thank you for your donations so far. And thank you for supporting my American dream. And with all that said, for a final time, if you want to see more of this nonsense, make sure you click that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye!